The Cell, an intro for kids from Sanger Academy. Every living thing is made up of cells. Just as walls are made of bricks, a class is made of students, or a book is made of pages. In the same way, all living things are made up of cells. So, you are made up of cells. If you want to understand life, you have to understand cells. So, what is a cell? The first thing you need to know is that cells are very small. So small, you almost always need a microscope to see them. Let's compare a cell to something very small that you can see, like a human hair. Look at how wide a human hair is, an average human hair. That means not too thick, not too thin. How small would one human cell, let's say a red blood cell, be compared to that hair, which you can see? First, we need to zoom in on one hair. Is a red blood cell that wide? No, smaller. This wide? Even smaller. A red blood cell is this small next to an average human hair. What does it look like if we zoom in on it? Something like this. In case you were wondering, all cells are made of atoms. Atoms are much, much smaller than cells. If you saw a cell this close up, atoms would still be too small to see. All cells are surrounded by a sort of skin called the cell membrane or plasma membrane. The jelly-like stuff inside the cell surrounded by that skin is generally called the cytoplasm. You know that the body has many organs such as the brain, lungs, and stomach. Well, a cell is kind of like a little body unto itself because inside of it are tiny organs called organelles, little organs. Those organelles are themselves surrounded by membranes. There are many different kinds of organelles like the nucleus, ribosomes, mitochondria, and the Golgi apparatus. But I'll save discussion of the organelles for a different video. Just as all the organs of an animal work together to keep it alive, so all the little organs of a cell, the organelles, work together to keep it alive. So, if cells have a bunch of organelles, can't there be whole animals that are made of just one cell? Are there single-celled animals? Well, if they are that small, we wouldn't call them animals. We could call them organisms, because they do have organs, or organelles anyway. But they are very small organisms, so we call them microorganisms. Micro means small. So, yes, there are microorganisms made of a single little cell. But if we want to say more, we need to look inside the cell again. Every single living cell contains some very complicated stuff, some instructions that tell the cell what to do. This stuff is called deoxyribonucleic acid. Say it with me. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Deoxyribonucleic acid is also called DNA. DNA is the command center of the cell. In the cells of humans, other animals and plants, the most important organelle is called the nucleus. And it's important because that's where the DNA is. But some other cells do not have a nucleus. They do have DNA. It's just floating around in the cell, in the cell's cytoplasm. 
Cells that have a nucleus are called eukaryotic cells. Cells that don't have a nucleus are called prokaryotic cells. Eu means they do. Pro means they don't. As I said, humans, other animals, and plants all have eukaryotic cells, cells with nuclei. Nuclei is the plural of nucleus. There are also microorganisms, single-celled organisms, like tiny animals and plants, which have eukaryotic cells. These are called protists. So, what sort of organisms have prokaryotic cells? Again, that means cells without nuclei. They're all microorganisms, all single-celled organisms, called prokaryotes. One example is the bacterium. We say one bacterium, many bacteria. So bacteria, like the kind in your yogurt and your stomach, are single-celled organisms without nuclei. They are prokaryotes. Most prokaryotes, like bacteria, not only don't have nuclei, they don't have any membrane-surrounded organelles. Some of them do have little hairs or tails. There's much more to say on the subject of cells, but anyway, that's what a cell is. The End